hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core today i am going to show you cascading so uh, i have an example uh, like country state and uh, city so just uh, you can see so first of all run the project and uh, you will see uh, cascadings so before show the cascading uh, just add some data in the database so first of all add country that is the USA and UK and after that you have to add uh, states I mean to say that capitals so so there is home and state index and here we have states to their respective country so ABC inside USA there is so you have to just pass in the back button you have to just have to click on the back button for the state index so here we have country id is third and abc2 again inside in usa and usa is created just go to the back and that uh, the third thing is abc third inside uk so in usa we have two capitals uh, states you can say and uk here we have only one and just add city so city index name of the city is jed yx in uh, state that is abc and that ABC include in USA so the proper cascading uh, will show in this example and uh, how to do perform the cascading into your projects so just to show cascading so home cascade list so first of all select country that is USA and select a state under the USA that is the ABC and ABC2 and here we have two city in the ABC2 we have only one city AST so in the UK state uh, UK country only we have only one state and then there is no country so that is the example and what you do uh, for uh, creating cascading an example of uh, country states and city so first of all create model for the country state and city so just go to the section of the model and you know very well a country have multiple states so public integer id public string name and chi collection state and streets and state have multiple cities but a single property have uh, or you can say the dependent property of the country and the city have, have a dependent property of states okay so country state and city model prepared after that you have just pass in the application db context so just add country state and city inside the db context and just after that you have to uh, show your uh, home controller section or you can say controller section where uh, country states and city card operation will be there okay so just open home controller and uh, in the home controller we have the first action method is index where all countries are there so index a list of countries will show and after that you have to get section of the create and the post section of create for the country so context.countries.add that is the simple code operations you can do for the country and the state index is show uh, all uh, list of states and the create state as well as the post section of the create will show uh, to save the states in the database table 
and in the create state we have only dependent property of the country so just under the select list and the view back countries so create state is post clear similarly we have to uh, city index and the create city uh, in the get section of the create city we have view back object for the states because in the city we have uh, need uh, single states so new select list context dot state dot id and names in the http post section of the create city is there and in the cascading list you can see a view bag of countries only one countries will uh, list of countries will show first of all and when we select any countries then will show states and then will show cities so first of all uh, just pass uh, to the view as a country so the two things is uh, written JSON result that is the load state and load city that is partially loaded uh, from the view section so variable state context dot state dot where uh, dot country id is equals to id dot to list there is and written JSON uh, as in the form of the select list also uh, for the load city is the similar uh, there is the uh, select list item to return uh, cities okay so the main thing you can do uh, using jquery uh, in your uh, cascading uh, list.cshtml file so to understand uh, how this work so the first select list is the country list and the country list will bind uh, the view bag object and that there is view bag dot countries where new select list context dot countries id and the name okay so the properly country list will bind with the select list uh, with the proper options when any changes uh, in the country list occurs then uh, jquery function will call partially call action uh, method that is the load state and both uh, list that is the state list and the city list will empty so under uh, dollar sign ajax type get and url action is load state and data type is json and the url parameter is the country list dot value i mean to say that id property of the country list will pass in the parameter that is the load state and here id is the country id actually okay so there is a foreign key uh, of the table so after that we have a uh, list of state will uh, get so the state list first of all add a state list as in the in the form of append so option minus one that is the null and select state and after that uh, uh, list of states um, iterate in the list uh, in the form of select list so there that uh, so these states will iterate by using jquery so dollar sign dot each states function i states and state list dot append option value when value is the state dot value and uh, also we have state dot text so thank you guys and similarly you can do with the cities so thank you very much for watching this